Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to our course. Today, we will start with, uh, we will continue with English sounds. We'll be taking the sounds, classification, and type. I remember last time we discussed we discussed sounds in general, right? And we talk some glimpses. And we talk the organs of speech and we talk like, uh, we took the organs of speech, yeah. And we discussed them, you know, and I told you that you need like to memorize, not to memorize, just to know where uh, each organ is located. Because today we are going to dis to study or to discuss the classifications and the types of uh, these organs uh, of these sounds. Okay. Sound classifications. When exhaling, exhaling the air from the lungs, the air can pass from two cavities. Okay, we have the oral cavity, and we have we have the nasal cavity, okay? So when we like breathe, when we get out this air from our lungs, it can pass from two like places, we call them cavities, okay? The first cavity is the, or is the oral cavity, and the second cavity is the nasal. Oral sounds, sounds that are produced when the air stream passes from the oral cavity, okay, through, through the mouth. Nasal sounds, they are sounds that are produced when the air stream passes from the nasal cavity. So I think they are real simple, through the nose. Oral sounds from the mouth, the sound passes from the mouth, and nasal sounds, the, the, the air passes from the nose, or from the nasal cavity, from the oral cavity. So this is really simple. Okay, this is the classifications, okay? We have two classifications. We have the oral sounds and we have the nasal sounds. In the sound type, we have two types also, okay? We have consonants, and we have vowels. Consonants, they are sounds that are produced when the airstream is being obstructed or constricted. Obstructed or constricted, Okay, sounds that are produced يتم إنتاجهم لما مجرى الهواء يتم إعاقة يعني بصير في شوية إعاقة لهذا الهواء إيش يعني إعاقة مش بنخليه معاق يعني لا إنه في زي حواجز okay تمنع الهواء هذا يدخل فبصير في إيش يعني we we play okay we manipulate the sound بصير إحنا نتلعب في الصوت عن طريق إيش uh, right now we'll see some organs of speech vowel sounds they are produced without any kind, okay, without any kind of obstruction. They are produced with a relatively free flow of air. So we have consonants, okay, Consonants and we have vowels. Consonant sounds, we have some obstruction or constriction. Vowel sounds, we don't have any obstruction, okay? They are produced with a free flow of air. Okay, these are the sounds, okay? In English, in English, we have 44 sounds, okay? We discussed the four phonemes. We said a phoneme, when we say a phoneme, we mean a sound, okay? When we say a phoneme, we mean a sound. So, right, we have 44 phonemes in English. The IPA, okay, this is really important. You have, right, like you have really to memorize this and to differentiate between sounds and the transcription or the simples. Spelling simples, okay, often, often, kilmit often, it'll have two pronunciations, okay? We can say often and we can say often. 
I prefer to say often because like it is something like by yes, something special. Spelling symbols often differ from IPA symbols. Okay. So blindly following the English orthography can lead to some mistakes. الرمز تبع الحرف باللغة الإنجليزية بيختلف عن رمز الصوت. Okay. في إحنا عنا أصوات. We have sounds or phonemes and we have letters. في عنا إيش حروف. رمز الصوت بيختلف عن رمز الحرف. مش في كل الحالات لكن في أغلب الحالات بيختلف. Okay. Right now we'll see. فما. Okay. Right now we'll see. In other words, each sound was given a phonetical symbol. في كل صوت عنا إلو صوت له رمز رمز بالايش؟ بعلم الاصوات. These symbols, however, do not have to represent exactly the same written letter or even spoken. Thus, memorize them well. Okay? بمعنى اخر انه انا في عندي حروف okay الصوت تاع رمز الصوت تاعها نفس الحاجة ما فيش في مشاكل اكيد حنشوف كيف حنضرب امثلة. لكن في عندي حروف ثانية اوكي الصوت تاعها ما ما له دخل بالرمز. Right now we'll see. Okay, first we have vowels. Okay, I will be giving you, or I will be giving you a تطبيق. Okay, an application. You can download it and hear the sounds well. These sounds you are required. Even if you are not required to memorize them in the linguistic course, you will be absolutely required to memorize them in the phonetics, in the phonetics and phonology course because they are really, really important. And even like if you didn't like memorize them in the phonetics and phonology course, not even in the linguistic course, they are really important in your and in your no normal life as an English student. Okay, they are really important. First, we have vowels and we have consonants. We have, uh, I think, like twenty-four consonants. Okay, we have we have the sound ba. ba. Okay, there is a difference between ba and ba. We have T, okay, or ta, da. We have ch, j, k, ga, f, v, if. Okay, this is like you have to differentiate between these two sounds. We have ta and we have the. We have s, z, ish, j, not the j. Okay, we have j and we have ja. The, the ja sound is here, okay? Jun. We don't say jun, we say jun. Okay, D and j together. Here, we say television. We don't say television. Okay, so here's is a separate sound. J, m, n, n, ha. Okay, or it's not even heard, right? We have L, we have R, and we have wa, we have ya. Okay, these are the consonants. So, for example, for what I have just said, like the sound P, okay, it is the same, it is the same letter. Okay, like P and P, we don't have any differences. B, it is the same thing. But I mean like, look at the letter yes, okay? This is the sound yes, okay, the sound ya. Yeah. If you look at the at the symbol على الرمز الرمز لو أنت تقرأ بال باللغة الإنجليزية هو إيش هو صوت الجا but no for جا we have this this symbol right لو تقريبا ثلاثة معكوسة أو ثلاثة زي ما هي رقم الثلاثة بالإنجليزي so for جا we have a different symbol and for for يا we have a different symbol right مع إنه في اليا في اللغة الإنجليزية هو حرف ال اليا المعروف زي سبعة وتحتي شرقة. Okay, so we have sounds. Okay, we have sounds that they they have different symbols from what we يعني normally know in the English letter system. We have also ث. Okay, and we have ذا. For the vowels, right? We have also twenty four vowels, right? We have some vowels. We call them monophthongs. And we have some vowels we call them diphthongs. We will be taking them right now. But however, you have to memorize the pronunciation. 
So the first sound we have e, then e, o, o. All right, this is the monophthongs without the diphthongs. Then we have a, and this is the schwa. Okay, the, the schwa it is the most, it is the weakest. Allah have sold below in English, yeah. It is like a, you like you can't even like. It is not hard to pronounce it, but it is like like you can't accurately pronounce it at the first time. After that, like you'll be taking it. Then we have a, o, a, and this is a. A uh, and O. Oh. Then we have the diphthongs. We have ia. Okay, this is ia, like here. We have oa, like towers. We have a, uh, like hair. A, like weight. This is a, like also eight. Yeah, call our Ramsamania. Oi, like boy or oil. I, like my or I. Okay, the organ the, uh, that we can see with it, the hulain, we also pronounce it as I. We have O as show, and we have Ow as cow. Okay, so memorizing these sounds are really important, right? So you have to practice them because, like, they will open a lot of doors. They will, like, all the questions in the phonetics, okay? Like, you'll be having some questions, okay, in the, in the linguistic course. But most importantly, in the phonetics and phonology course, you are really required to memorize them. So as a piece of advice, okay, can I see Hayane? Start memorizing from uh, start start memorizing them from now. And they will not take a long time. Like after like uh, one week and a half, like I memorized them, uh, about one week and a half. Okay, okay. Like just listening to them each day, every day at the morning, and like repeating them, okay? Then like you will find them like really easy. You will have some troubles, like because there are some sounds that are really similar, like e and a. Okay, this is e and this is a and the schwa also, and like up, on, and a. Right now we'll see what is the difference. Okay, after I mean, like at the end of this slide we have some something called minimal pairs and a minimal sets, okay, sets. We will see what is the difference between each sound and the other. Okay, let's move on. So we have two kinds of sounds, consonants, and we have vowels, right? Okay, first we'll be taking consonants, okay? First we'll be taking consonants. mean second. Consonants classifications, okay? When we want to talk or, or discuss consonants, we discuss them or we classify them. We describe them according to three things. We have the place, okay, we have the manner, we have the voicing. The place is the place, okay, the manner is the way, the way. The voicing is the way, the way, the way. I don't know what is the translate the translation exactly, but I think like first we have the place. When we say the place of articulation, okay, we talk what do we mean by articulation. Okay. So when we say the place of articulation, okay, obstruction. Do you remember this? We said that consonants, they are sounds that are produced when the airstream is being obstructed or constricted. Where does the constriction takes place? And what articulators are involved in this constriction? يعني بمعنى آخر إيش هو المكان بالضبط اللي صارت فيه هذه إعاقة للهواء هذه الإعاقة للهواء وإيش هما ال organs of speech أعضاء ال النطق اللي شاركوا في هذه الإعاقة؟ حس إنه كلمة إعاقة هيك شوية غليظة. Okay يعني توقيف خلينا نحكي عن كلمة توقيف. إيش هما الأعضاء اللي شاركوا فيه يعني؟ Okay خلينا نعرف. 
عقد الهواء وايش هم كمان وايش المكان اللي صار فيه هذه الاعاقه ذا مانر وين وي سي ذا مانر اوف ارتيكيوليشن وي مين ذا واي اوكي اللي هي الطريقه ايش هي الطريقه اللي صارت فيها هذه الاعاقه للهواء ذا واي ان ويتش ذا اوبستراكشن هابنز ايش هي الطريقه ذا ديجري اوف ذيس اوبستراكشن ان ذا فوكال تراكس اوكي الدرجه اللي صارت فيها هذه الاعاقه وي هاف لايك a full obstruction or i think a full close closure لو ايقاف اغلاق كامل we have a partial closure لو اغلاق جزئي and we have uh, both okay اللي هو اغلاق وبدون اغلاق هذا بنسميه احنا i think the africans right now we'll be seeing them the voicing okay the voicing status اللي هو ايش الحاله الصوت هل هو is it voiced okay or is it voiced وهل هو مسموع ولا هو مهموس؟ First we have the consonants, right? When we see, okay, these sounds that are in the gray in the, uh, in the gray color, okay, they are voiceless. But the sounds that are in the black color, they are voiced. بمعنى آخر مثلاً حرف ال ب, okay, it is not voiced. ب, it is voiced. How we will know if it is voiced or if it is not, uh, unvoiced or if it is voiceless? Right now, we'll see. Okay, first, the place of articulation. أول حاجة إحنا عنا مكان حدوث اللي هو إعاقة الهواء. Okay, المكان. First, we have bilabials. The bilabials جاي من كلمة من كلمة اللي هو lips. مش جاي من كلمة lips يعني هي كلمة lips بعدها طورت. لكن إحنا بعنا آخر اللي هي معناها by معناها حاجتين او two double things يعني labials معناها الشفتين but when we say by labials we mean that the two lips are involved both lips are involved in producing by labial sounds for example we have in english we have four by labial sounds we have the sound pa. if you like pronounce it if you try to pronounce the sound pa, you will like notice that we have the, the two lips they are obstructing when we say P. Okay, and also when we say ba, m and wa. Okay, so the, both lips they are involved in producing these sounds because they obstruct the sound. هم البيعيق ومجرى الهواء. هم مين الشفتين. Labial dentals. Okay, so we have part of shafatain with dentals. هم الأسنان. من كلمة dentist. Okay, dentist معناه طبيب الأسنان. So when we say labial dentals, the labial dentals, إحنا بنعني إنه الشفتين او الشفه okay, والاسنان the lower lip okay, الشفه السفليه والشفه السفليه articulates with the upper teeth الشفه السفليه مع الاسنان العلويه the sound ف and the sound ف if you like try to pronounce them you will see that we have the lower lip and the upper teeth if and if okay, they are these are The two articulators. They are the two articulators that prevent the air from coming out. We have also dentals. Dentals are just the teeth. The tip or the blade of the tongue. Okay. I think I told you to uh, to memorize. Here we have the tongue. Okay. In the tongue, like we have four positions. We'll be focusing, I think, on three only. We will be taking the back, the front, and the tip. Okay, the tip and the blade, like don't, uh, don't make them like confuse you. They are the same. So we have the tip of the tongue. We have the front of the tongue, and we have the back of the tongue. Okay, so the tip, front, and back. The root is not important. Okay, we'll not be taking it. We'll be taking all the tip or the blade. The front of the tongue and the back. Okay, the tin, the tin, dental sound. Okay, dental sounds. The tip or the blade of the tongue. Okay, Articul articulates with the upper teeth. Okay, so we have this place. Okay, or this position. It articulates with the upper teeth. Okay, so if you try to pronounce. If or the like thin or thin, you will see that the tip of the tongue articulates with the upper teeth. So here we have the obstruction. Here the air or the air stream is being constricted by the tip of the tongue, okay, and the upper teeth. 
alveolars, when we say alveolars, we mean al the alveolar ridge, okay? Okay, let's back once again with a photo. Okay, here is the alveolar ridge, okay? Hey, alveolar ridge. You can touch it, it is behind your upper teeth, okay? I think we call it in Arabic. I don't, I don't know exactly, but here it is, okay? It is, it is behind your upper teeth, okay? Like it is something that stands out. Okay, and here in is a half here. Okay, the alveolars, when we say alveolar sounds, we mean that the tip of the tongue, okay, but the tip of the tongue, عشان أنا حكيت لكم يعني حاولوا احفظوا أعضاء النطق بالخص اللسان because like the tongue we will be taking, uh, talking about it right now all the time. The tip or the blade, okay, they are the same. The tip or the blade of the tongue touches, okay, the alveolar ridge. Like in the sounds, t, okay, t, d, s, z, n, l, r, okay. In all these, in all these sounds, you can see that the tip or the blade of the tongue touches the alveolar ridge. All right. The, then we will have the palato alveolar. Okay, these sounds. When we say palato alveolar, okay, we have something called the palate. Okay. We have two palates in the in the mouth. We have the hard palate and we have the soft palate. Right now we'll take it. But we when the palate, يا جماعة هي ال هي ال ورا ال alveolar ridge هي ال half the the أعلى أعلى الفم. Okay, هذا زي ال قبة المجوفة. هي فوق اللسان بالضبط. Okay, the tip of the tongue articulates with the alveolar ridge with a simultaneous rising of the front of the tongue towards the hard palate. Right? I think like it is kind of being like maybe difficult a little bit, but right now I'll be explaining it. Okay, I will have under the tip of the tongue, it articulates with the alveolar ridge, with the alveolar ridge. They had a little bit Okay, the tip of the tongue touches our articulate, touches the enough skill with articulates. Okay, the man and who one beside the Raja the soul the articulates. Jamie came with articulation, who knows the soul. So here we have the same process, right? Okay, then. While simultaneous, معناها بنفس الوقت, okay, يعني بنفس الوقت ما هذا الكلام يصير, تصير هذه الحركة, who rising of the front, okay, إذا هقيت عنا إحنا إيش, the front of the tongue towards the hard palate, okay, نص اللسان بطلع وين على hard palate, like the sound ش, okay, ج, ش, and ج, alright, so the tip of the tongue articulates with the alveolar ridge. With a simultaneous rising of the front of the tongue towards the heart. Part. It is really easy. Okay. Yani, uh, when you try like to pronounce these sounds, like you can yani, can to the alveolar ridge, okay. The palatals, okay, the palatals, the front of the tongue articulates with the heart palate. Okay, right now we have the heart palate. The heart palate, the the front of the tongue articulates with the heart palate. We have only one sound in English. The sound is ya. Okay, try to memorize the sounds. This is the sound ya. Like in you, like in yogurt. Uh, maybe like in, I don't know, yacht, 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 okay, we have the sound, yeah. Velars, okay, we have here the hard palate, okay, if you have a hard palate, if you have the soft palate, okay, the back of the tongue, so here we have the front, here we have the front, and we have also the tip. Before we had the tip, okay, right now we have the back of the tongue. In the velar sounds, you have the back of the tongue articulates with the soft palate. The soft palate, he had a sharp adjustment. This is the soft palate. Here it is. This is the soft palate. Okay. Okay. This is all it is the soft palate. The soft palate, right now, will be taking it in the manner. Okay. So the back. Of the tongue articulates with the soft palate. Okay, like the sound ka, ga, and um, 
okay? Glottal, okay, we have the vocal folds. Vocal folds, in the glottal sounds, okay, the vocal folds, they come together, okay, to go to cause a closure or friction. Like the sound, ha, okay, ha. So let's try to repeat them once again, the picture. We first took the labials, okay, both lips, okay, these both lips, they articulate like the sound ha and the sound ba. Then, okay, then we took the labiodendals, okay, like the sound f and the sound va, okay, the, the lower lip with the upper teeth. After that, okay, we took the dentals, dentals alone, with that, okay, we said, the tip of the tongue articulates with the upper teeth. After that, we have we have the alveolars, okay? The tip of the tongue articulates with the edge, with the alveolar ridge, like the sound ta, sa, za, l, and r, okay? All these sounds, they are alveolars. After that, we took the palatal alveolars, who are behind, okay? We have two processes. First, we have the tip of the tongue articulates Okay, articulates with the alveolar ridge with the simultaneous and the, the same the same place we have the front of the tongue okay we have the front of the tongue it articulates with the heart palate this is the heart palate so we have the, the tip of the tongue okay it articulates with the alveolar ridge and we have the front of the tongue it articulates with the heart palate after that we have the palatal sounds we have only one sound in english that is a palatal, okay, which is the sound dia, okay. The front of the tongue articulates with the hard palate. After that, we have the velars, okay, the soft palate. This is the soft palate, jama'a. Okay, it has two, has two names, the velum, right, or the soft palate. Okay, this is the hard palate, aiha. And we have the velum, or the soft palate. Okay, in the velars, okay, in the velars sound, Sounds we have three sounds in English that are velars. Ilka, ilga, will end. In the velar sound, the back of the tongue articulates with the soft palate, right? After that, we have the glottal. Okay, the glottal is the hunjara. I thought. Or who is the mizmar? Okay, the glottal. I think it is the mizmar. Okay, Lua Yuhan. We have like. The vocal folds, okay, the vocal folds, they come together and they pronounce, they produce the sound ha. Okay, this is the place of articulation. Okay, soft or hard, alveolar ridge, glottal, teeth, teeth will. With lips, or between the teeth, لحالهم يعني مع الطن. بس في أغلب الأوقات الطن مشارك. Okay, اللي هو اللسان مشارك في الحاجة. Okay, right now we'll be taking the manner. Okay, the manner of articulation. زي ما حكينا the manner. بنحكي نحكي the manner of something. Okay, this this is the manner of doing something. اللي هو the way. Okay, هو طريقة حدوث الإيقاف. مش إحنا حكينا the consonants. Right, we said that consonants. Uh, they are sounds that are obstructed. Okay, or constricted. So we have some obstacles. So we have the place. We have we have six. Okay, we have six uh, manners. Plosives, or I mean no, seven. Okay, seven. We have the plosives. The plosives معناها the ايش؟ the stops. لهم بيصير إيقاف المجرى الهواء كاملا. Sounds that are produced by some form of of stopping of the air stream very briefly, then letting it go abruptly. Okay. اللي هو abruptly معناها بصورة مفاجئة. Okay. Like the sound ح. Okay. So we stop the air stream. إحنا منوقف مجرى الهواء. 
like we say pa then we let it go على طول so there's this kind of stopping نوقف الهواء لفتره من الزمن يعني خفيفه كثير then we let it go the fricatives okay fricatives معناها الاحتكاكيه الاصوات الاحتكاكيه sounds that are produced by almost blocking مش complete okay هنا we have a form of stopping okay احنا بنوقف الهواء كله لكن هان في الفريكتيفز almost okay يعني تقريبا okay كل الاير ستريم يتم بلوك يعني احنا بنوقفه مش مش كله لا تقريبا كله almost and having the air push through a very narrow opening من خلال الهواء يدخل عن طريق فتحه ضيقه جدا okay لما الهواء يدخل بصير زي صفير مش صفير بصير في احتكاك كيف احنا بنسمع هذا الشيء like the sound and okay and and okay also the sound h okay this is not sound h this is the letter h but when making it as sound we don't say h we say ha okay so put these things in your mind okay we don't say this is the sound h no we say this is the sound ha we don't say this is the sound f no we say this is the sound fa the sound f the sound th th and j so here like you can find some kind of, of uh, friction okay friction معناها هو احتكاك بصير احنا في عندنا شويه احتكاك so this is the manner هذا الطريقه اللي بخرج فيها هذا الصوت هذه الاصوات الاحتكاكيه هذه بصير في اغلاق كامل لمجرى الهواء بعدين احنا بنخليه اوكي يعدي الافريكتس هي جمع بين البلاسيفز والفريكتس اوكي بناخذ حرف التاء والدا وبناخذ حرف الشا والجا يا رب الاصوات صوت الدا والتاء وصوت الشا والجا بنجمعها مع بعض التاء مع الشا بيعطيني صوت ش والدا مع الجا بيعطيني صوت ج اوكي ساوندز ذات ار برودوسد اوكي نفس الحاجتين مع بعض هذول الاثنين مع بعض باي ا بريف ستوبينج اوكي بصير في عندي ستوبينج للاير وبعدين بخليه يعدي لكن لما يعدي بخليه يعدي عن طريق ايش؟ عن طريق احتكاك. So first we have ش okay so first we have stopping okay في عندنا اول شيء ايقاف بعدين بنخليه يدخل لما يدخل ايش؟ يصير في عندي نوع من الاحتكاك ونفس الحاجه للجا. We have two sounds that are Africans. We have the nasals okay sounds that are produced when the velum is lowered and the air stream is allowed to flow out through the nose okay عندنا ثلاث اصوات خيشوميه okay او هذول الاصوات الخيشوميه في اللغه العربيه احنا عندنا صوتين الام والان بس لكن في اللغه الانجليزيه عندنا الصوت الثالث اللي هو الان مش الان الان زي ما نحكي مثلا playing okay so nasals ايش بصير بالضبط في nasals كيف طريقه حدوث اخراج الهواء okay خلينا نركز في الصوره هنا جيت هي الهواء في المجرى الطبيعي بطلع الهواء من هنا تمام بطلع الهواء من هان بدخل خلال الفم the, this is the soft palate okay it blocks the the way through the nose في هذه الصوره اوضح okay في عندي هان النيزل كافيتي هي الطريق النيزل كافيتي وهي الطريق الاورال كافيتي okay في الحاله الطبيعيه في كل الاصوات اللغه الانجليزيه مع الام والان والان اوكي okay الصوت مجرى الصوت بيعدي من هان الاورال كافيتي الفيلم اوكي I think he is not the balloon, no, usually. Okay, I don't know his name. Okay, the velum or the soft palate blocks. Okay, like this, exactly. Here, they are blocking the way to the palate. Okay, they are blocking the way to the palate. But okay, maybe the hand. I don't think so. But I think I don't know his name. With us. Okay, so in the normal sounds, the sound will come from here, and the velum will be blocked by the palate. Understand? زي هيك بالضبط كله مسكر في الاصوات الخيشوميه ايش بصير السوفت بالات بتفتح وبتسكر مجرى الفم السوفت بالات بتفتح تمام صوت السوفت بالات بتفتح بتسكر مجرى الفم بس يعني it blocks it from here and the air flows through the nose فالهواء بيطلع عن طريق مين الانف لو احنا بدنا نجرب نلفف صوت من الاصوات اوكي زي مثلا صوت الام احنا مسكرين الانف تاعنا مش حيظبط انه صوت انفي صوت خيشومي لازم الهواء يتم اخراجه عن طريق الانف اوكي لايك يو كان تراي ات هوم لايك يو كان برونونس ذيس ساوندز وايل تراينج تو كلوز يور نوز 
and you can't, okay? Like try to close with your fingers, okay? And try to pronounce it. You cannot pronounce it because there are nasal sounds. The sounds, the, the, the airstream must come out from the nasal cap. Okay, how does that mean in nasal? Literal sounds, okay, literal, a sound, okay, a sound that is produced by a partial closure, okay? Okay, we will, we will take the manner, okay, we'll stop. The sound, okay, it is a sound that is produced by a partial closure, okay? مش إغلاق كلي زي الستوبس الستوبس بقى في عندي غلق إغلاق كلي لكن هان في عندي غلق جزئي a partial closure okay يعني بصير بصير عندي غلق جزئي by the blade of the tongue okay اللي هو التب okay أول اللسان طرف اللسان against the alveolar ridge and the air is able to flow okay around the sides of the tongue يعني حرف ال L Okay, منلاقي إنه كل مجرى الهواء مسكر. إنه the tip of the tongue it articulates, okay, and touches the alveolar ridge. ومسكر كل حاجة. لكن إيش الموجود من وين الهواء بيطلع؟ بيطلع عن طريق جوانب اللسان. Okay, الهواء بيطلع عن طريق جوانب اللسان. This is this is the literal. Okay, this is the literal sound. We have only one sound in English, literal. اللي هو ال. The trill, okay, اللي هو حرف ال r. A sound that is produced by the tongue tip. Okay, raised and curled back. In the Arabic language, the letter R, we say R, but in the English language, we don't say R. Okay. So first, the sound, okay, the tongue tip raised and curled back. ترتفع وترجع. Okay, it doesn't touch the alveolar ridge. ما بتلمس الثنايا العليا. لا بتل بس تطلع عليها وبترجع لورا ار على طول بدون لمس تمام this is the trill we have only one sound that is r okay the glides okay the glides a glide هي معناها السفينه الشراعيه مش السفينه الطائره الشراعيه اللي هي بتطير او بالنص زي هيك so when we say glide sounds okay we also call them semi vowels لانهم بيشبهوا اصوات العله we will talk this okay we will take this in the next lecture Sounds are okay that are produced by the tongue in motion. In motion, معناها يعني نقدر نحكي إنه اللسان يعني بالنص زي إنه motion معناها إنه إيش يعني I think إنه حائم بط بطير هيك okay زي الطائرة or gliding to form the position of the vowel. The sound و and the sound ya. The the tongue doesn't touch it. It doesn't touch anything. It glides. Okay, it is in motion. يعني هو حائم بين الفم بالنص doesn't touch anything. Uh, okay, we يعني reach the finishing of our lecture. Next time we'll be taking the voicing. Okay, I'll be sending the slides because we don't have time in Zoom. So next time we'll be taking the voicing and we'll move on. So uh, thank you for attending and have a good evening.